Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I have two dreams to share with you. One from Nikki and the other from her, from her husband, Rich. Now, before I start with their dreams, let me start with this. I was on YouTube watching a video. They were showing how nowadays in 2016 and 17, people were acting like zombies. And I was like, yeah, right. You know, you... You know, when we think of zombies, we think of those old monster movies and some of the silly flicks they make where people are just made to look as gruesome as possible. But the main thing about it is the mindlessness and the, the, the uh, almost the lack of, of direction or lack of self-awareness is really weird. When I watched these guys on this video, they had taken i think they had smoked weed or they had taken cocaine that was doctored up with something called k2 not sure it's some type of a number and a letter it's a chemical and it's deadly and it can really fry the brain and one guy was sitting on the ground ball just bawling his eyes out crying just tripping Another guy was laughing uncontrollably. Another one was just walking like they were literally zombie-ish. It was really weird to see. Okay, then another, a woman was just kind of, I mean, her face was all messy. I don't know what she had on her mouth. She looked like one of the zombies from the monster movie. Her hair was crazy, and she was just out of it. Um, I don't know if she was unconscious or she was in a trance. It was hard to figure out what was up. Now, that made me think, maybe I should share this, okay? And the reason I'm saying this is because in these latter days, I'm trying to make it quick, demonic activity is going to get so crazy and the sins of many, especially in the drug area, are going to be so, so malicious that people are going to literally lose their sanity calling themselves trying to get high. So for those of you who like to experiment, watch yourself before you don't even know yourself in the mirror. Listen to this. Hi, Pat. I hope all is well with you. I'm going to skip forward. Let's see, where is the dream? Okay. In this dream, it seemed like there was destruction. A lot of areas all over, ravished and torn towns. And in the dream, my family and me were in a house. It was not ours, but some type of safe house. And I remember seeing people out you know, looking out the window, who looked the way zombies look, but they seem not to walk like them. So it's kind of a different slant on zombieism. Okay, now, back to her dream. And let's see. They were chasing and killing. They were chasing and killing others. And in this house was a lot of people. They were all there together as well. After what seemed like some time went by, a man who looked like he had on a zombie mask was using a key to get in the house. And we were at first trying to keep him out. Then we moved to another part of the house. Well, he came in. And I remember thinking, why isn't he acting like the others? And why is his face, why does it look like he has on a mask? Then I woke up. Okay, now, Pat's two cents before I get to Richie's dream. We have no idea what's coming. We have no idea if people are going to start uh, I mean, if you have people who worship 
demons who worship the devil, who are doing child sacrifices and animal sacrifices. You know there are people out there who will kill for the fun of it, just to be accepted. Trust me, there will be nuts out there who will think it's fun not realizing they're acting under the influence of, demo of the demonic. Who will think it's fun to break into people's homes and scare them to death. And some of these will be under the influence of not only the demonic, but under drugs, which will open the door wide to the demonic. They might even kill their own family and not remember it when the next day comes and they find themselves in jail. Wondering where did all this blood come from? Everybody you have to watch and pray. You can't always trust everybody all the time. If somebody's acting weird, get them out of your house. If somebody's acting weird, don't let them in your house. You have no idea what the demonic has planned for you. All right. Now, this is for Rich. Now, his dream... She says, my husband's dream had to do with war and a bomb going off. Mm -hmm. His name is Rich. In his dream, he says, he and others were outside and it seemed like maybe a couple of people were fighting each other and arguing. Well, he got involved somehow and tried to get them to stop, but could not. Then they pulled out guns and started shooting. Okay? But for some reason, it was there was a standoff. Then they started to shoot. Well, he closed his eyes because he was sure he was going to get shot. But it didn't happen. In his spirit, while his eyes were shut, this is all in the dream, while his eyes were shut, he saw nuclear bombs. Let me repeat that because I hit the mic. Nuclear bombs going off. And the spirit let him know it was war. The war of all wars. World War Three. Then he woke up. Now, if that kind of dream does not tell you it's prayer time, you are blind. I, I, any of us who don't believe it's prayer time, we're blind. We have no idea. See, Satan is pulling out his big guns now. And one of the easiest venues, when you look at her dream, is through um, narcotics, illegal narcotics. All they have to do is mix a few formulas together that are extremely dangerous and deadly, toxic and deadly, where some people die from it. But people would try it anyway, won't they? Don't ask me why. I don't get it either. But some people almost have a death wish. And they just want to see how far they can push the envelope before their little brains crack. Go right on ahead if you want to play that game of Russian roulette. <clears throat> but anyway, we have got to pray. We have got to watch our family members. Some of you may not even be able to allow your children in the house. If you have a grandparent you're taking care of, if you have other kids, if you have family members who cannot defend themselves, you might have to call the police to deal with your child. Because if you try to deal with your child under that kind of influence, you may not wake up the next day to even know what happened. Your children may not wake up the next day. I am telling you, you have got to use your mind rather than your heart. You've got to think safety first.
before sentiment, safety, because these drugs, they're bleeding out into these streets. They are for total destruction and annihilation. And those drugs will make some people kill whole family units. And they won't even know that they did it. That's how crazy these drugs are getting now. When it comes to what he was talking about, we have got to pray that God neutralize bombs and, and, and malfunction these missiles so that they don't leave the ground. Because I'm telling you, we have no idea what it's like to live as a third world country. But World War Three, yeah, World War Three will depict a picture that we cannot run from, we can't turn off, we can't change channels, because it will be our reality, third world nation, lifestyle. You talk about having to de depend on God for provision, for supernatural protection. You'll have crazy folks and off folks and drugged out folks and brain damaged folks out there. You won't know who to open the door to. You'll be putting bars all up inside your house to stop these creatures from getting to you. Because I'm going to tell you, some of this stuff will turn people into monsters. One way or another and it won't be a civilized society any longer I'm done I'm not trying to be dramatic I'm just trying to get you to see the possibility the dangerous possibilities it's prayer time and you need to watch and pray don't just keep your eyes shut stick your head in the sand you watch and you use your mind before you use your heart.